Hey, you're watching Vinyl 4 Miles, your best resource for music, audio gear, and vinyl reviews. Today, we're looking at the Vinyl Vac 33, the newly improved, updated version of the Vinyl Vac. Stick around. Today, we're looking at the newly improved Vinyl Vac 33 system. If you're new to this channel, you probably have not seen my previous video on the Vinyl Vac. If you haven't seen that video, I suggest you go check it out right now. Here's a link to the video up top. Please forgive me, that was one of my first videos that I produced on the channel. I do a little bit of Billy Mays shouting trying to sell you on the Vinyl Vac system. I was very excited about it when I first received it. Um, so yeah, please excuse my excitement on the original video. I'm gonna go through some of the changes first, and then we're gonna go ahead and clean one of my records. Let's dive into the new version of the Vinyl Vac, which is called Vinyl Vac 33. This is the package it comes in. Really straight and to the point. You get a Vinyl Vac sticker on the front. So let's go ahead and open this up. Here we go. Whoa. So inside the cylinder they ship it in, it does come packaged. Here's the package, nice and protected. Comes with instructions, replacement pads, the vinyl vac adapter, suction reducers to regulate the amount of suction, O-rings for a snug fit, felt washer, protect your record label, and a set of replacement pads. So that's what it says on here. Why don't we go ahead and open it? These are made in the USA, by the way. I've been in contact with the owner. Very, very nice gentleman. Um, he's been pretty supportive of this channel, and I have quite a few of his accessories over here in my my record storage area, such as his record roller, that really does a great job. So here we go. So already I can see a few differences here. Let's go ahead and take the protective paper off. Right off the bat, let's go through some of the differences that we get between the original Vinyl Vac and the Vinyl Vac 33. So I'm gonna stack these two next to each other. Here we go. Right off the bat, the Vinyl Vac 33 is longer. It has a longer suction tube on it, which I'm sure will give you a more efficient suction compared to something like this. The chamber's longer. We have a built-in felt pad here where the spindle hole is, which is great. Previously, you had to keep these handy. You would have to keep one of these felt pads somewhere near you. So when you're spinning your record while cleaning using the Vinyl Vac, you're not gonna scratch up your, uh, your label. So that's built in now, that's pretty cool. Some more differences here. The felt pad is one piece. It's not two pieces like we see on the original vinyl vac. That's nice because you should probably replace these every few months. Uh, previously, you had to line up both individual pads to make sure that they were in the right area. Now that it's one piece, that's pretty easy. You just line it up once and stick it on there. That's great. Going from the top, we have the same cap on the end. On the back here, uh, same thing, vinyl vac decal. Something was hidden inside here. Awesome, cool. You get a cleaning brush. This is awesome. So now you can clean off your felt pad before every use, uh, which before I didn't have a cleaning brush like this. And this is, um, yeah, this is a pretty sturdy cleaning brush. So that'll definitely extend the life of the felt pad that's on here. So cool, that's something that you didn't get before. And it looks pretty much the same if you were to compare the two. They're about the same size. So if you have a vacuum that works with the Vinyl Vac's original system, this is gonna be a perfect fit. If you look at them compared from the front here, even though one's longer, the measurements are exactly the same. So I mean, your holes are gonna line up, everything's gonna work just fine. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set aside the original Vinyl Vac. We're gonna be focusing on this one the rest of the video. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean one of my records. The record I'm gonna be cleaning is about 40 years old. It's been sitting in my collection for quite a while. Uh, we inherited it from my father-in-law. So this is really dirty. It's been sitting in storage for quite a while. So hopefully you can see it's a pretty dirty record. So first thing you're gonna need, it's a shop vacuum. You need a wet vac, something that can take liquid into it. What I'm using here is my handy shop vac. This is a wet dry vac system. I'm gonna pull the hose up. So here's my hose. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my O-ring on. This is a one and a half inch uh, shop vac, so I do need the O-ring. O-ring is in place. I'm then going to put the Vinyl Vac 33 system, the newest one, 
on here. And that is a snug fit. You can test it out, just turn on your vacuum and make sure that it has a strong suction. So now we have this piece ready to go, hooked up to my vac. I'm gonna set this aside, because we're not gonna to need to use that until after we wet clean it. All right, I'm gonna change the camera angle so you guys can see what I'm cleaning. So I'll be right back. All right, so now I have everything I need here. So what you're gonna need is first uh, some kind of cleaning area. You could use your turntable or I use this Lazy Susan that I created. Again, costs under 30 bucks on Amazon. You can get this Lazy Susan. I put a little pad down here, a slip mat. There's like a $1 screw <laughs> that I used here. Basically, I stick on the record and then I have a label saver, which I've done another video on if you wanna check that out. The label saver just basically keeps your label nice and dry. But this label is actually a little dirty. I'll clean it off. So you're gonna put your label saver on. I'm going to clamp it down so no water gets inside here. All right, and you're gonna need a brush. This is a brush I picked up from Lowe's, the painter brush. This is very smooth, will not damage your record, and it has a lot of little fibers that can penetrate deep into the grooves on your record. Then I also have another a four inch foam brush that I just used to put distilled water on here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this record pretty wet. Uh, it's also probably a good idea to have like a microfiber cloth or something around so you don't get spray all over your table. All right, so I'm gonna use the concentrate cleaner from Vinyl Vac first. And I'm gonna get this pretty wet. Now that label saver should keep your label nice and dry. So I mean, that's a lot, a lot of cleaner on there. It's bubbling up, which is good. It means the cleaner's doing its job. I'm gonna take my brush, stick it on here, rotate the record. I'm gonna really work this solution deep in there. All right, now I'm gonna go backwards. All right, the solution's been sitting for about five minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dip my brush, my foam brush into the distilled water. And we're gonna brush the whole record again, just like this. Get that distilled water onto the record surface. This is gonna help break up the cleaning solution. And when you go to vacuum it, it's just gonna suck it right off. I'm gonna do a dip it again, make sure it's nice and wet. The outer groove on your record, the lip of the record, should keep most of this liquid on the surface of the record so you don't really have to worry about it spilling all over the place. All right. So I have my distilled water all over the surface of my record. It's looking nice and clean. So what I can do now is take off the label saver. All right. My label is not wet, which is good, it's dry. Some of the outer parts are getting a little wet from the water dripping in, but not a big deal. Um, in general, your labels probably can get a little bit wet, so I'm not too worried about it. So this is pretty covered in water. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but we got a lot of the cleaning solution on here, a lot of water, distilled water to clean off. So now we're ready to use the vinyl vac. Now it does come with a felt pad. So here's the felt pad. You can put the felt pad directly down here and that should basically save the record from being messed up uh, or scratched by the vinyl vac system. But the new version actually has the felt built in. So there's a little felt ring that's built into here. So I'm actually not gonna use the felt pad. So what you wanna do is align the spindle hole here with the screw or the spindle on your turntable. That lines up perfectly. And then you turn on your vacuum. And then you're gonna push it down onto the record. And then you're just gonna move the Lazy Susan or your turntable, manually move it and you're gonna go through and suck up all that liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my vacuum. Wow, <laughs> that is freaking clean, holy crap. Look how clean that is. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a before and after comparison, what a dirty record sounds like and then what it sounds like after you put this on.
All right, guys, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you wanna check out my other videos, you can check those out here, having to do with the VinylVac system. Shout out to VinylVac for sending me this product. I am a huge user of the VinylVac. I've used this on hundreds of records. They're not paying me to say that. They just sent me the product for free, so I really don't need to say what I'm saying. I'm, I'm dead serious, this thing is rad. So pick one up, I'll put a link below. Also check out their record roller and the cleaning kit. I mean, I use that almost every spin now. I'm using my record roller to pull off some like dirt, debris, or paper shavings from inner sleeves. It does a great job. Yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Until next time, I'm Michael. Thanks for watching Vinyl for Miles. Take it easy, bye.